Now, let us see how to determine the statical indeterminacy of a continuous beam. So, we will see this with the help of examples. We are taking vertical system of loadings. So, consider a beam. Now, the beam are supported by three symbol supports. Three symbol supports. Now, there are two vertical loads are given in the supports. Therefore, the statical indeterminacy is 3 minus 2. 3 is the number of reactions. We have, if you are taking the support as A, the right support as B and the center support as C, we have the reactions RA, RB and RC. Therefore, our R is equal to 3, unknown reactions is equal to 3. Our equations of equilibrium are 2, that is sigma, sigma V is equal to 0 and sigma M is equal to 0. That is summation of all the vertical loads is equal to 0 and the summation of moments is equal to 0. So, our static statical indeterminacy is 3 minus 2, so we get 1. We will go for another example. So, you have a beam. It is supported by a fixed support at A, a symbol support or a hinged support at B and a symbol support at C. It is loaded by two vertical loads. So, our statical indeterminacy becomes 4 minus 2. That is, at this point, at this support A, we have a vertical reaction. We will have a vertical reaction RA, you will have a moment MA. So, number of reaction is 2. Here at the symbol support, you will have reaction RB and at C, you have the reaction RC. So, 2, here RB is 3 and RC is 4. So, totally it is 4 minus 2. 2 is the number of stat, uh, equilibrium equations available to solve your problem. Now, the third example is, it is fixed support at A, another fixed support at B and a symbol support at C loaded by two vertical concentrated loads. So, our uh, number of unknowns R is equal to 5. How R is equal to 5? See here you have Ra, we have a moment Ma, so two reactions here, two unknowns at A, Rc, so one unknown at C and we will have vertical reaction at B, that is Rb and a moment at B. So it may be clockwise or anticlockwise, so totally we have five unknowns, so it is five and the number of equilibrium equations available is 2. So, it is 5 minus 2, it is 3. We will see one more example. So, it is fixed at A, fixed at B and you have a hinge at C. So, when a hinge is introduced in your beam, your, un, your equilibrium equation becomes plus 1. That is, here your uh, statical indeterminacy becomes R minus R minus N, where N is the number of hinges. So, here R is equal to, you have two reactions here, two reactions here. So, R is 4 minus small r is 2, that is number of equilibrium equations is 2, minus N is 1, N is the number of hinges. So, you have one hinge. So, it is 1. So, you get, sorry, you have two more loads, sorry, two more uh, supports. So, here you have one unknown. At this support, you will have one unknown. So, total unknowns is 6. So, you will get the statical indeterminacy as 6 minus 2 minus 1 it is equal to 